All right, uh, uh, here is my solution to problem one of tutorial three. All right, so here we're supposed to find the gradient vector and uh, it's probably a good idea to recall that uh, the gradient vector is um, vector nebula f whose entries are f partial derivatives of f with respect to f and y. All right, so first we need to find the gradient vector of the given function at the given point. And then we're going to sketch the level curves that, that passes through the given point, point and the direction of the gradient vector and the tangent line. So we, we've got to do the, this sketch. Okay, um, how do we do this? Um, well, the gradient vector is the vector whose entries are partial derivatives of our function with respect to x and y, right? So first we've got to differentiate it with respect to x. So partial derivative with respect to x, right? So basically first we need to differentiate this uh, uh, thing. So th th this is really the same as inverse tangent, arc, arc 10. So I personally prefer uh, using the notation arc 10 because, you know, if you use the given notation 10 to the minus one, then it kind of looks like it is uh, tangent raised to the power minus one, but it's not true. I mean, it's the inverse function. It's not tangent raised to the power minus one, right? So tangent inverse is the gives you the angle whose tangent is the given uh, given number okay so partial derivatives of partial derivative of inverse tangent is really uh, one over the input of one plus the input of inverse tangent squared so square root of x over y squared times um, the partial derivative of whatever is inside inverse tangent with respect to x, right? So with respect to x means that uh, basically it's going to be one over two square root x and there is one over y, so I guess I'll just copy it. One over y, okay. Then I guess I could simplify everything now, but it's probably easier to plug in the given values at this point, right? So because we are supposed to compute it at just one point where x is four and y is, is two. All right, so, so I'm going to just plug in the values. So this is going to be one over one plus square root of four is two over two squared times one over two times square root of four times one half. And this is really one half times, this is one two times Square root four is, is two, so it's going to be just four, and this is one half, and this is one over 16, right? Okay, uh, now let, let's do um, the partial derivative with respect to y. So the beginning is the same because we are differentiating, we are still differentiating the inverse tangent. So first we begin with uh, actually just the, the same expression, one over one plus whatever is inside the inverse tangent squared times now we've got to take the input of inverse tangent and now we're going to differentiate it with respect to to y right so now we are differentiating with respect to y so the so we're going to have a square root x there and then uh, the, anti the derivative of one over y is minus one over y squared right? so basically that that's it really um and now i guess we can just plug in everything so we already computed that this is one half so this is one half times minus square root of x is, is two uh, over y squared is is really four so this is minus one quarter okay so which means that we have just computed the gradient uh, of our function at, at the given point is the vector whose first entry is one over 16 and second entry is minus one quarter. Okay. Now let, let's do the, the sketch. So we need to sketch the level curve that passes through the given point in the direction of the gradient vector and the tangent line and so on and so forth, right? So let, let me do the, this, this sketch. So the, the function that, that we have is f of x, y is inverse tangent. I, I, I kind of personally prefer writing arc name, but it is up to you. square root x over y. All right, and, and the given point is uh, Four two. Um, okay, so generally speaking, uh, a level curve has the equation f of x y is some constant c. 
how do we find the, the, this constant c? So we know that f of x, y is arc tan, and uh, the given point is x is 4, and y is 2. So square root of 4 is 2 over 2. This is um, arc tangent 1, and arc tangent 1 is the angle whose tangent is 1. And tangent is the ratio of the two sides of the triangle, right? So it should be one. So it means that it, it, it comes from a right triangle, you know, with this side equal to this side because the ratio is one. So this angle is clearly 45 degrees, right? So 45 degrees is pi over four radian. Okay. Um, right. So it means that our uh, level curve is really the curve given by the equation arc time tan of square root x over y is pi over 4. Right? So this is the equation of our level curve. Uh, strictly speaking, we were, we are not required to, to actually find this pi over 4. Um, but, you know, whatever. So, I mean, it's... It's not going to do us any any harm. So hypothetically, if you wanted to say plot it in Desmos calculator, then you you would need this pi over four. Anyway, so how can you plot this? Uh, how how can you plot it? Basically, to plot it, I guess you, you it's better to simplify the equation and to uh, to do it, you just apply the tangent. I mean, so you have inverse tangent. So to get rid of it, you you apply the the original tangent function. So and tangent of inverse tangent is of course the whatever you, you plugged in, in in tangent, right? So applying the, the tangent, so we are going to apply uh, the tangent function and then we will get uh, square root of x over y equals one. Right? So because tangent of pi over four is, is one. It's it's really how we got pi over four. <laughs> All right, so um, simplifying it, so solving for y, we get square root x equals y. And maybe it is easier to square it, so um, x square is, is y. And notice that that square root cannot really be negative, right? So x is supposed to be non-negative, non right? So this is our curve. So, and I guess now we can plot it. So x square equals y is really... Uh, sorry, x equals y square, no, not x square equals y square. Um, x equals y square. Um, so I guess uh, we can ju just plot it now, right? So if this is our x, y axis, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, three. So the point of interest is 4, 2. So it is somewhere here. This is 4, 2. Okay, um, let me pick some, some other color. So the curve looks... So th this is essentially a parabola, right? So only we are used to the parabola y equals x square. And if you switch x and y, it's basically... You like turn it by 90 degrees. So what, what you get is it's really this, this parabola. Well, this point is supposed to be on, on, on the plot. Okay, so this is our uh, level curve. So this is our level curve. Level curve. Well, and then um, we are required to to find the direction of the, 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 the gradient. So the direction of the gradient, right? So the direction of the gradient can be, I mean, it should be perpendicular to level curve. So it can be either this direction or this direction. So which of the two is it? Right, so we know that nebula f is 1 over 16 at the given point and minus 1 over 4, right? So x is positive, y is negative. So out of the, these two directions, we, we pick the one that satisfies this um, this pattern. So this, this is our the, the, the vector that indicates the direction of the gradient vector. And finally, the tangent line, I guess we can just sketch it so it looks like this. So this is the tangent line. Yeah, and maybe for your information in Desmos calculator uh, we can kind of do it too uh, if you want to uh, to use the graphing calculator 
Then the given point is 4, 2. So I guess we can just call it point P or something. Oops. And the function is inverse tangent of square root of x divided by y equals y over 4. Okay. Yeah, so as I, as I said, it looks like a parabola. Okay, so basically that, that's it.